Hello, my name is Beth. I'm a coach on Curtin Ward at Ipswich Hospital, and we've been doing pebbles on Curtin since February this year. Pebbles is a new initiative on how we are teaching students on the ward, and it's a coaching methodology rather than the traditional mentor student nurse form of training. One bay is allocated to the students which is usually a six bedded bay and occasionally an eight bedded bay um, and that would be three students within the bay. The learning objective is based on something that is relevant to one of the patients that they are looking after. This should be something very small so it's easy to focus on for that hour of learning. At the beginning of the shift, a shift coordinator is decided between the students. Their role is to decide on when learning hours occur, who does the drug rounds and when they take their breaks. They have to bear in mind that there needs to be enough staff within their bay to manage the patients when there are members of, members of staff off the wall. So the principles of Pebbles is that students must take charge of their three patients and it's a really important factor that they introduce themselves to the patients at the beginning of the shift. As a coach, I encourage other members of staff, including the MDT, to approach the student nurses so that they can feed back any information that is important about patient's condition or discharge plans for their treatment. As a coach, it is important that I oversee everything that's going on on the ward and I am accountable for anything that happens during that 12 and a half hour shift. I'm somebody who's available all of the time and it's important that students feel they can approach me if they have any concerns during the shift. At the end of the shift, the students are then given the opportunity to hand over their patients. This is a really good opportunity because handover can be very daunting. As a coach, I oversee this and I can obviously offer advice during this process. So Vicky, we've just had handover. Which three patients would you like to take today? Um, can I please take A1, A2 and A3? Okay, brilliant. Was there anything from handover that was a priority for your three patients? Um, the man in A1, Will, his blood pressure was a little bit low, but that's what they handed over. So maybe go and check, see how he is and check that. Yep, okay. Let's just have a look to see what it was this morning. So it's 90 over 58, so that is a little bit low. Um, what do you need to do about that? Um, I'd recheck it using the manual machine rather than doing the electronic ones in case there's any discrepancy. Okay, brilliant. And have you done a manual blood pressure before? Not on the ward, only in the university. Okay. Um, is there, have you got any questions about doing a manual blood pressure? Um, no, but I'd like you to be there just in case anything happens that I'm unsure of, if that's okay. Yep, no problem. And if any point you're not sure, then I can re, um, recheck the blood pressure for you. Thank you. All right. Yeah, thank you. Um, perhaps in your learning hour, you could look at reasons for low blood pressure. Um, as part of your learning diary. That would be brilliant, thank you. I really enjoyed my placement with Pebbles. Um, I felt that the ward was really structured and I received a huge amount of support from my mentors and my coaches. Um, I felt very supported. Um, I believe coaching is far more positive for the student. Um, you get a lot more structure with your day-to-day -day work um, and you actually feel like um, you're a registered nurse as opposed to a student that feels quite lost within the ward. Always be confident in your learning. Um, to always ask questions uh, if you're feeling nervous or you're not sure the support is there for you, so always ask, and to use your learning hour to its full potential. A good coach for me was a huge amount of support, someone to talk to, someone to be able to communicate my doubts with, and someone that I felt like I could trust to be my coach. When I was on Pebbles, I felt a huge amount of confidence and then after, I felt like I took a step back because I wasn't being able to do everything I was on the Pebbles ward. I felt a little bit out of control. Um, I'm just lucky now that I've been able to bring it up to my mentor on a new ward and they're pushing me that little bit further.
being in control of my own patients, um, being able to organise my own care for those patients and being proud of what I'm doing for those patients.